Hi, I'm Jessie with Blue Barrel Systems, and you can find information about our rainwater catchment systems at bluebarrelsystems.com, including how to build your own and all the parts that you need. Uh, this morning, it's December in California, so uh, garden looks scraggly, but it's a good time to be doing infrastructure projects. We installed this two barrel system, um, took a couple hours this morning, and now we're almost ready to go. Um, we started with a regular old downspout, and the downspout diverter is connected and ready to collect rain into these barrels. But what I want to show you today is actually how to install a leaf feeder. It's a very easy thing to do. Um, now the system works. The system is complete without a leaf feeder. Uh, we've already cut our downspout there, so just ignore that for a moment. But the water comes down the downspout, through the diverter, and into the barrels. And that's really all you need. However, it's great to have this extra layer. This is a really robust pre-filter, and it's also a great way to adapt from whatever you have going on up here uh, to a compatible downspout if a, a diverter isn't compatible with what you have going on below. So let me keep going and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm just gonna pull the diverter out. And I'll show you that in more detail in just a minute here. So installing a leaf feeder is as simple as cutting your downspout. Now you can do that with a grinder or you can even do it by hand with a hacksaw. And what's great about the leaf eater, it's just gonna go here. Now water free falls onto the leaf eater screen and it's gonna catch any leaves, debris, those little gravelly bits that you have coming off your, your downspout. All of that is gonna catch here. And this is really easy to service. I'll show you how to do that once it's installed. Some people intuitively wanna put these way up here by the downspout drop. I recommend installing them at eye level because you can pop off that screen every time you walk by if you need to and you just kinda shake off the screen, pop it back into place, okay? Um, and in terms of exactly the measurements, where to cut, it's not very sensitive. The water is just gonna free fall onto the leaf eater. So we just made a cut there um, and we're gonna go from there. So installing the leaf eater is as simple as Okay, and before I get it all the way in, actually, I wanna show you how well this piece adapts. So the leaf eater comes with an adapter on the bottom. I'll pull it off. Um, we have a two by three downspout and that's really standard for a residential scale. And it's gonna secure right in there to the leaf eater, okay? If you're working with a larger downspout, a three by four, it's more typical on an industrial building, but some people have them at home, um, then this whole, this outer layer is actually gonna sink inside the three by four. And then if you're working with a round downspout, you take this off and this piece here connects, uh, you can sink three inch, a three inch pipe over the top or a two inch pipe um, along the underside with an inner seal. So um, this is a very flexible piece and this adapter also rotates. Okay, so if you, if you wanted to have your downspout this could be an advantage. Maybe we'll do that today. Let's see, I'll think about that some more. Um, I could actually have that facing my rain barrels if I wanted to do that. So this leaf feeder, all kinds of people install their systems and a standard residential downspout, you know, they call them two by three, but often they're um, two by three is a nominal measurement. And